Oh my goodness, China might have won the AI race with these two updates. They just released two new AI models that completely stomps both GPT-40 and VO3. You see, ChatGPT-40 image generator went viral for its editing capabilities and the Ghibli trend. At around the same time when VO3 came out, it shocked the internet by storm, especially the lip sync and audio video trend. Yes, definitely. Uh... Well, you see, VO3 and GPT-40 just got dethroned by these two new AI models by China. The Chinese company behind the two completely outclassed everyone's expectations. The model that destroys GPT-40 is perfect for editing your image however way you see fit and restylizing it. It also keeps the aspect ratio that you want. They've also open sourced it, but you can use it online for free. The video generator literally ranks number one, passing Cedence and VO3. It also has an audio feature, meaning your videos also come with sounds. So this is actually my room. And has one specifically for lip syncs and AI influencers, and it stomps VO3 in that as well. Best part? I found a new way to use it unlimitedly, for free, without temp mail. Now do watch this video till the very end before creating your account. I repeat, do not create your account before watching this video till the very end. If not, you may not be eligible. Also, I have created a document on how to make money with AI. All you need to do to get it is simply like the video, subscribe and comment. I want the full document and my bot will be sure to send it to you. If you want to learn how to make money with AI and AI influencers, subscribe to my other channel and let's dive in. Okay, you see, China just completely destroyed both VO3 and ChatGPT40 with their new models, and I am not even joking. So now the first one, which is the alternative for ChatGPT40, is this. Just go here. So I'll go here, and then I'll simply click on this one. This is just one. So they released two alternatives for ChatGPT40, both are open source as well. And this is the first one we're going to cover in this video. And remember, if you stay till the end, I'll show you how to use this for free. So essentially, this is Flux Context and the BFL Playground. Now essentially how it works is exactly like ChatGPT 4.0, except it isn't multimodal, but it's perfect for image editing. So if we do zoom into this one here, as you can see, this is the original image here, and then now see that the bird is now sitting in the bar and enjoying the drink. As you can see, it edited perfectly with the same resolution and everything. Then the second example here is there are now two of these birds, and as you can see, it did a wonderful, wonderful job. Then you can go here, which shows them from behind, and yeah, it adhered to it perfectly. Then you also have um, the fourth example where there are two birds sitting in a movie theater. So essentially, these are all the examples, and it's perfect for image editing. Now, why do I prefer this to ChatGPT? Essentially, ChatGPT 4.0 only creates images in a certain resolution. So like this one from ChatGPT, I tried to make it generate in a different aspect ratio, but it always seems to generate it in this aspect ratio. For the images that you provide that are horizontal, so I even told it to make it 16 by 9. It still didn't adhere to it, and even when I told it to expand the width, it said that it had an error trying to expand width, and it failed for the horizontal image. And another reason is that you only get two tries. Two tries before you need to pay for GPT+. Well, you see, with this alternative, say goodbye to paying for ChatGPT 4.0 for specifically the image generation and the image editing, because this is much, much better. So I'll just go back here to our article, and as you can see, your images, your words, your world, and it has improved image capabilities. Play, create, manipulate, and if you want to use this online, because remember, as I said, all of these are open source, you can actually run it on your own PC. Though, of course, you do need to have a certain amount of specs. But if you want to use this online, then watch till the end. So essentially, they released the Flux One Context there. They also have the Flux One Context Pro, and it's a lightweight 12B diffusion transformer suitable for customization. And essentially, this is the graph or the ELO score. So as you can see, if you do zoom in here, you can see Flux One Context Dev in the median or a face sim score. As you can see, it's number one here, higher than GPT Image 1 High, GPT Image 1 Medium, high than Gen 4 References, and it's honestly the best open source alternative. Now I'm telling you, it's so good. So if you go for character preservation, which is the same thing as character consistency, it's also ranked number one here, which is awesome. So for text insertion and editing, it also ranks number one here. That's the Flux Context Max. And then there's the Flux Context Pro, and then there's the Flux Context Dev. So the best is between the Max and the Pro, 
though I do think that the Pro might actually be better. So essentially, these are just the draft comparisons, and I'll show you how to use this online for free. So as you can see, we've got this image here. Then we edited it, then made her look like this, and then she's now smiling over here, which looks so good. And then finally, we've got this text here, then we changed it to, you had me at context. And then we now made it to be in a party or a concert, which is so, so good. So how do you go about using this? So not only did they announce the Flux context, but they also announced a playground for you to test it out. All you need to do is go over here to product and go here to playground. Then all you simply need to do is click here and then simply continue with Google. Remember, China also released a new video generation model that completely storms VO3. So watch till the end and I'll also show you that. But this particular one is specifically for GPT-40. Then I'll go ahead and click on get started. Then let us test it out. So these are what some people have been trying. You can relight your photos, sketch, try and move the camera around. You can zoom. You can colorize. You can remove anything, which is just so, so good. So let's just go ahead and first of all, we can try the image generation model. So Flux Context is also a new generation model of theirs. So let us try it out. So let's give it something simple at first. So like this. Like this and then make sure Flux One Context is selected, and then click on Generate. So as you can see, in absolutely no time at all, it generated the images. So the dog was running in a painting. This one got it perfectly. So essentially, it used the painting style, which is so good. Let us try another prompt. So yeah, I've got this prompt, and then I'll simply click on Generate. Let's see how it does. So this is the first image. As you can see, the resolution is super, super clear. You can also go over here and test out this other one. So that one is also good. And we've got this third one. And as you can tell from each, it's right on point. So let us try the edit feature. Just simply go into edit. But before that, if you wanna have more settings, you can go here and select the batch size. You can reduce it. You can set the safety tolerance. You can use prompt up sampling to enhance your prompt. You can turn it off and on. You can also mess around with the aspect ratio and the seed value. But for now, I will go over into edit and let's see how it does with the editing feature. First of all, dragging an image here. So I have uploaded this particular image here. Then I'll simply just instruct it. Let's say she's in a spaceship. And then I click on enter and let's see how it does. So yeah, it's done generating. And as you can see, it keeps everything consistent, which is so, so good. Then we can also try again. She's underwater with a shark behind her. Then click here. You can reduce the batch size if you want. Reduce the tolerance, prompt up sampling, and click on enter. And as you can see, it's so perfect. So if there's one thing I've noticed, it's that you should try to make sure that the prompt up sampling is turned off. That way, you can still get the same style but in a different position. As you can see, it has made this so good. And don't forget, this is free and unlimited. So let's try another image this time around. Go over here to start over. Then you can drag in another image here. So here I've got this one. So I'm going to change her hairstyle and make it pink. Also give her a red necklace. So yeah, I'll make sure prompt up sampling is reduced. Maybe I'll reduce the batch size to about three. Then safety tolerance, I can just reduce this a bit. Then click on generate. Let's see how it cooks. So in about no time, it's done. And you can see it did this perfectly. Did this work perfectly. Then you can also change the hairstyle even more. And in no time, it has changed it and it's so good while keeping every other thing consistent, which is perfect. And I've noticed that sometimes in chat GPT, it does add this plastic effect to some of the image edits while Flux Context doesn't do that at all. Then you can go ahead and be like, change her top color to this. And I'll go ahead and generate it. And it has done this so perfectly and even the text is on point, which is why I really love this model. Don't forget, as of this moment, it's currently free and unlimited. Unlike GPT Plus that you need to buy for like a hundred bucks. You can also test out other features like expand. Well, let us go to the one that most of you guys are excited about, which is the VO3 alternative that China just created and completely destroyed VO3. So now, before some of you guys come rushing to the comment section saying that I am lying and this tool is actually better than VO3, let me show you that it is not my opinion, but rather the opinion of the masses. 
So if you go into artificial analysis, which is the number one board for ranking all the AI tools, whether it is language models, image generators, or video generators, as in our case, they are in charge of ranking every single thing that has to do with AI. And if you go here, even Grok 4 has now overtaken GPT-40 Mini High, and it's currently trending at that. So, but for this alternative to VO3, if you go here and select video generation, then essentially, let me show you how it works once we verify that we are human. So I will just click on this, and as you can see, what it does is, it uses the same prompt to generate the videos using different video generation models. So they use the same prompt, and it used different video generation models. And personally, I think this one, following this prompt over here, I think this one is actually very, very good in terms of the microscopic level detail. And I can click on prefer this. So this is how it works, essentially. Now you see VO3 and see Dance Mini. So you can just choose the one that you prefer. This one is very hard to tell, but low key, I like this one. You can just simply select it. So it uses this system to rank. If you go over to leaderboard, you'll see that VO3 is no longer number one, and it has been overtaken by this Chinese alternative that is currently free and online to use. And at the same time, it's unlimited. And not only for text to video, but for image to video as well. So how do we go about using this? So now, before I show you how to access this, I'd advise you to watch till the end and don't go rushing to create your account because some people can get limited credits with this. With this site, I'm about to show you, but the goal is to use this unlimitedly. But if you watch till the end, I'll show you a technique that I've discovered to use this completely for free and unlimited. So do not go rushing to create your account yet. You simply watch this video to the end and I'll show you how. So essentially, this is the site. As you can see, it's very, very cool. Well, if you go over here to AI image or to the create section, as you can see, AI video and AI avatar, which are the two that completely stormed VO3, are not available. Well, you see, this is very crucial in order for you to use this unlimitedly. Yes, you should make sure that you don't have this available yet. But I know most of you guys are in the US, UK, and Germany, or maybe India. So you might see this available. Well, this is why I said watch this video to the very, very end, because not only will generations cost zero credits, but it's still fast and it's still unlimited. Well, let me show you. So if I now go back here, as you can see, AI video and AI avatar are now available. Remember, watch the video to the end and I'll show you how to use this for free. Because some of you might see a finite amount of credits. Well, for me, I just see zero credits. Well, first of all, let's try their AI image that goes all the way to 2K resolution. So like this. Then make sure you select the image three. You can choose the resolution that you want. Well, since we're using this for free, we can use the 1K. You can choose resolution. And then, as you can see, generation costs literally zero credits. Well, if you want to know how, just watch till the end and I'll click on create. So in no time at all, it is done. And as you can see, it adhered to the prompt so perfectly and the resolution is on point. So let us try the video generation model immediately. So I can just go back here, then go down, and I want you to select AI video. Then you simply describe anything that you want. Like now, I can say, a dog running in the forest. Then click on video three. Make sure you're using video three, which is the seed dance one. Then you can say whether you want for 10 seconds or not. Because remember, VO3 is limited to eight seconds as of this moment. And VO3 doesn't generate, um, 16 by 9 videos or 9 by 16 videos, but this one can. So just select any one. And if you go here, as you can see, my generation cost is literally zero credits with the method I'm going to show you. So this is why I encourage you to watch the full thing or just use the timestamps. And you can go ahead and generate. Okay, so it is done. This is the result. And if you see, it did a wonderful, wonderful job here. Let's try out another prompt. So this is the second prompt I tried. And if you look closely, it did a wonderful job with the way the dress is dragging around the floor. It's so perfect and accurate. It adhered to the prompt so well. And you can go ahead and upscale it if you want, or reiterate it here, or even generate soundtrack at that. Let's try another prompt. 
So this one here is just of a dog that is running on an icy slope. So now, another feature that I like about it is that if you go all the way to the bottom, you have this AI avatar feature, which is so, so good. And this one clearly storms VO3 in my humble opinion. But not just my opinion, the opinion of the masses. Because it allows you to upload your own custom avatar here and also upload the speech. Or you can test out the text-to-speech feature if you want, or you can upload your own. You can pick whether you want the Pro, which makes it lifelike and has more natural expressions, emotions, and the Turbo is very, very fast. So let me show you the results from it. So this one was the one I generated. Guys, please subscribe to Brain Project. Hey guys, please subscribe. And just take a look at the results here. Now, I want you to take a look at how the head is moving. Not just the head, the eye blinking is natural. And not just that, even the way the seatbelt is moving, and her entire body. This is just spot on. So here, this is another one that I generated. Guys, so this is my room. So this is my room. Isn't it lovely? As you can see, it did a wonderful job. So how do you go ahead to use this completely free? Well, you see, the name of the site is called Dramina CapCut, and the name of the tool is called Seadance. So all you need to do is to create a new tab and search for Proton VPN. You can either get this Proton VPN, or you can create a new tab and search for VPN extension Chrome, and simply get it. Now, once you get it, just try to find any free VPN that allows for free access to African servers. Once you do that, remember, at this point, you shouldn't have logged in. Once you do that, you simply go head over here to the VPN site, then search for a country in Africa, let's say for instance, Ghana, or let's say Nigeria. Once you've logged in, you can simply, with a brand new Gmail and a brand new account, just simply log in to Dreaming a CapCut. Then you go ahead. And once you've logged in, this AI avatar should now be available. Then what you can do is simply disconnect and simply refresh the page again. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.